So what is a valve? Uh, just to remember that, uh, you know, sometimes the question still comes up and I thought this slide is always still pretty good. When you go to your basement, you have a lot of valves in your basement, right? And if you remember that picture, that's how your valves work too. So there's just an opening and closing mechanism and fluid has to go back and forth. So really, that's what we mean by valve. It's not, nothing special, it's, it's, it's just that. It's just more complicated a little bit in your, in your body, but it's, um, it's basically the same thing, right? So just opening and closing mechanisms like shown here, uh, that's a heart valve. And uh, mitral valve regurgitation, um, as Joao already pointed out, is just a leaky valve or insufficiency, not perfectly closing valve. So, you know, mitral is just the name for all, one of the valves and regurgitation means the, the, the blood goes into a wrong direction where it just came from, yeah, it's regurgitant. And as you can see here, uh, just to make that, these are slides from the American um, uh, College of Cardiology or American Heart Association to kind of make it a little easier to understand. And uh, you heard it before, so you have an opening of the valve on the left side, a closed valve, right? And regurgitation just means, uh, you can see here, it opens well, but if it closes, it still has these holes, right? So the blood can kind of sneak through these holes. And stenosis means you see opening, closing as well, but the opening is not quite as nice as you see on the left side, right? This is how it should open, it doesn't open quite well. Stenosis means it just don't open well, regurgitation, it means it doesn't close well. So cardiovascular surgery is this. You know, this is um, of course what you might want to avoid. And that's why I call this um, slide the don't crack my chest options, right? So my whole talk is about that. So the mitral valve, for example, yeah, if you play there. So you saw the mitral valve, you saw how it's leaking, right? And so how can we fix this? And again, uh, this is a catheter that we just sneaked up here from the groin now to the heart and we punctured a hole inside your heart, so you're, you're kind of sleeping here, but we just went through the groin, nothing else. And it's called the mitral clip, so you probably heard about the clip and the mitral valve a lot. So this is what the clip actually does, So because sometimes people don't understand what that clip really means. And again, we're not spending here now an hour on explaining the clip, it's much, yeah. But you can see how the clip actually, like a real paper clip, clipped the two pieces of the heart valve together. Did you see that? And now you can see that these two pieces are much tighter together and it's just not leaking that much. So then this came, right? So you see all these companies, engineers developing actually valves. So you, you will hear about the transcatheter aortic valve replacement from Dr. Garcia. But of course, once that was solved, the engineers and companies thought, okay, how do we fix the mitral valve? And the same idea was to find all of these various devices here that you can see in the picture. We can spend a whole day on the various designs uh, to fix the mitral valve, right? With, with a complete replacement. The clip is really more a repair, right? It, it, it repaired these two pieces together with a little clip. With these systems that you can see here, that's a complete replacement. And we'll focus here on one of the valve systems that we use, that we prefer at this point. It's called the tendine valve. That there's a valve here and it's attached to a little pad. Yeah, and we can use that pad to actually secure it into the position. And it has a lot of interesting features. We can have a standard profile, low profile, lots of things that we can do just to fit it to your heart. So here's your mitral valve, right? And then, so now we're gonna go through the tip of your heart, right? So again, not an open heart surgery, but just imagine here that you're sleeping and the surgeon makes a little cut here, Dr. Stefan, for example, right? And we're gonna put this catheter right through the center of your heart. We use a wire here. And eventually, under X-ray, we're gonna put this huge uh, tube in there. But again, it's, it's minimally invasive. You always don't have to open up and cut the whole heart. So here's that tube now. And within the tube, we have a new valve, right? And then it's literally like this. Yeah, it's it, once, once we're there, it's like five, 10 minutes. And then there's that pad that I showed you in the other slide, right? So we're gonna kind of close the hole that we just came through. And there we go, new heart valve. <laughs> the tricuspid valve is on the uh, right side of the heart. It's a very complex valve, that's how I have that slide. You can see that it's really attached to veins. It has a very awkward orientation for us. It's kind of like to the side. It's not easy to get there. Um, there's a lot of pacing. Um, your, your own pacing system is next to it. There's arteries next to it that could cause a heart attack if we make a mistake. 
So there's a lot of complicated things and that's why it was forgotten. And if you just remember that mitra clip that we used, right, the clipping system, yeah, what Dr. Suraja and the company uh, did and, and others uh, um, also, they said, okay, how can we finesse that system to the point that we can use it on that valve, right? So the tricuspid valve is a more complicated valve because it has th three features instead of just the two for the mitral valve, but it works there too. So you pick uh, the two leaflets that you want to clip together, you can orient it uh, uh, nicely. And here you can see how the clip is positioned and it's drawn up again. There's these grippers and you can clip it together.